Samsung is gearing up for something huge. Some unbelievable news has surfaced this week, giving us a sneak peek into Samsung's game plan for 2025. The smartphone industry is at a crucial turning point and 2025 could be a make or break year for Samsung. In a surprising move, Samsung has officially apologized for the lack of innovation this year, promising that next year will bring massive changes. And it seems like the old aggressive Samsung we saw back in 2019 is making a comeback, starting with the highly anticipated Galaxy S25 series. Samsung is not pulling any punches when it comes to the processor in the Galaxy S25 lineup. Once again, we're hearing that all models will feature the latest and pricey Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip. And here's the kicker. Even the Galaxy S25 Fan Edition is rumored to come with a new MediaTek Dimensity 9400 chip. That's right, Samsung is officially saying goodbye to Exynos for this series. No compromises in processing power this time. In previous videos, we touched on the potential end of Exynos, and this latest leak reinforces that claim. Samsung is clearly betting big on providing top-tier performance, and it looks like they're back to focusing on what made them great in the past. Samsung is also honing in on a key area of improvement, video performance. According to sources, Samsung is planning to release around 22 million Galaxy S25 units by midsummer, and of those, 11 million will be the Ultra model. This shows that once again, the Ultra is Samsung's flagship workhorse, and they're betting heavily on its success. Now let's talk about the Galaxy S25 Ultra. The design is finalized, and there's been a lot of speculation about the camera lenses. According to the latest leaks, the camera lenses on the Ultra will have a design similar to that of the Galaxy Z Fold 6, as shown in leaked CAD information. It seems like Samsung is sticking to this unified design for their top-tier devices, including the Tab S10 series and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Special Edition. I personally like the design, it's sleek and futuristic, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this design will help Samsung stand out, or are you hoping for something more radical? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. While the S25 series is shaping up to be impressive, it's not enough to make Samsung the undisputed winner of 2025. For that, they need to take a big risk. And that risk could be one of Samsung's boldest innovations yet, a rollable smartphone. That's right. For the first time ever, we might see the official launch of a rollable flagship phone from Samsung. South Korean media reports suggest that this phone will have a massive 12.4-inch rollable display and could feature an under-display camera. If Samsung really wants to make waves, this could be the device that does it. The timing couldn't be better. Samsung is already facing intense competition from Huawei's tri-folding phone and the Honor Magic V3, both of which have pushed the limits of design and thinness. The Magic V3 in particular can embarrass the Fold 6 with its sleek profile. Samsung needs to come out swinging and a rollable phone just might be their winning shot. A rollable phone. Samsung wants to replicate the historic success they had in 2019 and it looks like they're ready to go all out next year. 2025 is shaping up to be a year of big risks and even bigger rewards for Samsung. That's all for today's news. What are your thoughts on Samsung's plans? Are you excited for the Galaxy S25 or the rollable phone? Let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one.